Hey guys, today I have an absolutely amazing miracle from a newly, fairly newly crowned saint, which is Saint Gabriel, the Fool for Christ, from Georgia. Some of you would have, um, in previous videos actually, I have quoted some of his words, especially with his so-called agenda that we all went through. And these are the words that he said, if only you knew how much grace and blessings comes in the divine liturgy, you would even gather up the dust from the ground of the temple and wash your faces with it. And I made mention of this quote when people sadly were wearing uh, masks and also not kissing the holy icons, etc. But I won't get too much into that, but that is the saint that quoted that. So to start this beautiful miracle, it starts by saying, a pious family with two kids bought a holy icon of Saint Gabriel, and after three months of buying it, um, the lady noticed that it started streaming mirror across the surface of the icon. And I'll put a few photos as I read this. She says that after a week, she noticed a crack in the glass, as you can see here. Um, and this cracking sound was at 4 a.m. And when she went to see, she saw the crack on the holy icon. Now, the family showed the uh, holy icon to uh, Patriarch Ilya uh, the second, and he said that it was a great miracle and that the cracked glass is a test that awaits us. Now, this was covered from a television station in Georgia, and in actual fact, they collect all the mirror, and there's clergy that actually come and they collect it and they give it to their parishioners. So the very first miracle that happened was to the family that owns it, which their surname is Arsed Nadze. And since they bought it in the Tbilisi Trinity Cathedral, and this was during Easter in 2014. So the first miracle was that their daughter actually uh, was diagnosed with cancer, but the medical treatments had no positive results. So when the icon began to stream mirror, um, the lady decided to apply that mirror to her daughter, and miraculously, her daughter was healed and fully recovered from cancer. So that was the first miracle within the family that owned the icon. Now, also, there was, uh, within the family, there was a five-year-old boy, and he was speechless. And suddenly, when they applied the mirror to his forehead, he started speaking. And now I'll speak about the miracle with the blooded crosses. It's amazing. And it reads, 13-year-old Irina Maisuradze is diagnosed with bradycardia, which is a Greek word, bradycardia, uh, which means that the heart beats uh, slow and complete AV block from birth. Now, just imagine her heart rate at night was only 22 beats per minute. So when they found out about um, this holy icon, they got in touch with the family. And in December 18, 2014, they went to visit the family. Now, when Irina applied the mirror on her forehead, suddenly there was a blooded cross on her forehead, as you'll see here in the photos. And the, it was impossible. They could not wipe it off. It only disappeared by itself the very next day. Now, as you'll see here, she had a little reliquary bag um, where she had soil from the grave of Saint Gabriel. Um, and what they say is the very next day, December the 19th, that started bleeding and it started streaming mirror abundantly. Now the mother, had a vision of Saint Gabriel that said that he would heal her daughter. And this is her beautiful faith. 
Since having that vision, she uh, cancelled all the appointments with the hospital um, for the scheduled surgery that she had, and she made tiny reliquia bag embroidered with a cross and obviously with a soil uh, from the grave of Saint Gabriel. And since she did that, her heart has already increased by um, 10 uh, BPM, beeps per minute. And the mother says that every day her health was getting better. And I have made other miracles as well uh, during this so-called um, pandemic, as we call it. Um, we had the crosses, a miracle in Australia, where crosses appeared on a lady's top. And I'll put the video below for anyone that wishes to, to see it. Um, also, we had in a Yerokomi, in a aged care facility in Greece, where the cross during the liturgy started streaming blood. I'll put that below as well. And let's not forget the priest that in the holy altar, out of nowhere blood dropped on the holy gospel. And Saint Gabriel has given us some prophecies and these prophecies are for the end days, not times, end days. But I will get into that down the track. Just to let you know also, we've commenced construction of church number 11 of Saint Paisio in Kenya. I'm going to make a video with updates very, very shortly. I'm just waiting some photos from the bishop. So if anyone wishes to donate, I'll leave it up to you. And may your reward be eternal in heaven. So thank you all for watching. Let's all pray as well to another saint, Saint Gabriel of Georgia, to intercede for us all. And I pray for you all morning and night like an unworthy sinner that I am. Thank you. God bless you. And take care.